Greetings! Let's try solving these equations that look like they may be familiar, but something is just not quite right. Now, if instead I had given you this equation to solve, u squared minus 5u minus 6 equals 0, you would say, that's no problem. That's a quadratic that looks like it's factorable, and then I'll use the zero product property. Well, just because my x plus 1 isn't a u, or a single variable, but a term, it I can apply the same principles I apply on this uh, u squared minus 5u minus 6 as I do to the one above. Actually, what I'm going to do is do a substitution. I'm going to say, let u be equal to x plus 1, and then this top equation actually becomes u squared minus 5u minus 6 equals 0. All right, and then I'm going to proceed to solve this quadratic just like I feel like I know how. I'm going to factor it. That becomes u minus 6, u plus 1. That equals 0. And you should always go back and do a quick check by remultiplying your factors to see if you factored correctly. And then I'm going to apply the zero product property, and I'm going to set each factor to 0. So u minus 6 equals 0 means u equals 6. Or u plus 1 equals 0, which means u equals negative 1. Now that is great if we were solving only this quadratic. But we really were trying to solve this original equation. So now we have to go back. Remember we did a substitution over here on x plus 1 and we called it u. So now we're going to go back replace u with what we what we named our u and solve for x. So if u is equal to x plus 1 and u is 6, this means x plus 1 equals 6 or x equals 5. If u equals negative 1, that means x plus 1 equals negative 1 and this implies x equals negative 2. So I was able to solve my original equation, the one that looked like a quadratic, by rewriting it as a quadratic that looked familiar. All right, let's try the second example. I'm going to move to a new board just so we have plenty of room. And I'm going to take this equation with us. So now we have 2e to the 2x. Let's see, what did we have? Plus 3e to the x, oops, minus 2 equals 0. Now this one is a little bit harder to see because we have to remember our exponential rules. So if I rewrite this e to the 2x, and remember that a power to a power is multiplied, I can rewrite this as 2 times e to the x squared. Right, because if I raise x to the 2, that's the same as just multiplying x times 2. So plus 3, if I put this in parentheses, it might be easier to see, plus 3e to the x minus 2 equals 0. Now it's starting to look a lot like that trinomial I was talking about. So we're going to do a substitution again. This time, we're going to say let u be equal to e to the x. Then the equation I want to solve can be written as 2u squared plus 3u minus 2 equals 0. Now we have this quadratic again that I'm hoping factors. Let's see if it does. So 2u and u, and I need a 2 and a 1, so I'm going to put a 2 there and a 1 there. And I want this one to be positive and that one to be negative. And this is equal to 0. So again, you do go back on your scratch paper and do a quick check to make sure that this factorization is indeed correct for my quadratic. Alright, I'm ready to apply the zero product property. So 2u minus 1 equals 0, which means 2u equals 1, which means u equals a half, or u plus 2 equals 0, and u equals negative 2. Whew, I've done a lot of work, but I'm not quite done. Remember, I was ultimately trying to solve for x. 
So let's go back up. We found we've uh, discovered what our u is equal to. So let's now solve x in terms of u. So since u is equal to e to the x and one half, that means e to the x is equal to one half, or e to the x equals negative 2. Now I have to solve for x and it's important that I remember my log rules, my log and exponential rules. So if e to the x equals 1 half, I know that I can take the natural log of both sides and the natural log of e to the x is just x, so x is equal to the natural log of 1 over 2. Now I need to solve the other one, but I pause because I have a mental picture in my head of the exponential function, e to the x. And I remember that it never crosses the x-axis. That is, it's never negative. So there is no x value that satisfies that equation. So x equals the natural log of 1 half is my one and only solution to this problem, which I solved by first converting it to a quadratic using uh, a substitution and then proceeding in a more familiar way. Now go practice.